What is up guys, TJ here back with another video. Um, today I wanna talk about three drills that every face-off guy should know and every coach should use with their players. Um, these drills are great for beginners because it really helps ingrain the right muscle memory um, and get them set on the right path, but it's also great for experienced players um, to use pre-game warm-ups um, because it really gets you in the zone. I use these with all my players as well as myself um, pre-game um, in order to get me warmed up. First, I do wanna thank you though for all the love I'm getting on YouTube. I did not expect my last video to blow up the way it did. Um, I had a lot of people reaching out and asking for when the next video is gonna come out. So um, I'm up uh, playing lacrosse in Canada right now. Um, so I'm pretty busy with that, but I'm gonna do the best I can to start pushing out more videos. So the first drill I have is just called the build-up drill. Um, it really helps isolate each hand on what the correct movement is. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just our right hand. Um, when we're using just our right hand, we wanna make sure we're not spider-manning the ball. We're not using the wrist extension, right? There's no power in that. What we wanna do is we wanna use the open the door knob or turn the screwdriver motion, the supination motion, and snap our sidewall down over the top of the ball. So these are gonna be rapid fire. Gonna get in our stance, take our left hand off, down, set, whistle, down, set, whistle, down, set, whistle, down, set, whistle. Each time I do this, I don't wanna be sitting in the same spot. I don't wanna be pushing away. I wanna be pushing off my back foot to get over the top of the ball and really snap down over the ball. Second um, step of the drill would be just your left hand. Remember, our left hand is really what creates all that force and snap to get over the top of the ball. So that's exactly what we're doing here. We don't wanna throw our left hand too far forward and we don't wanna throw pop our shoulder too much. We wanna get down the line and swallow up that ball and get it right in our throat. So it's gonna be rapid fire again. Down, set, whistle. Down, set, whistle. Down, set, whistle. And then the last step would be to combine both of those and do what I call the elevator drill. This drill is a great drill to just use on its own. It really helps um, ingrain the right muscle memory of snapping over the ball. You know, a lot of guys push straight into the ball um, rather than snapping over the top and getting their top sidewall to seal their opponent off. So if you struggle with that, this is a great um, drill to use. You're gonna have your right hand in the air. You're gonna um, now combine what we did with both of our hands. They're working in synergy. We're gonna really use our uh, right hand to get into the ground. Think about your thumb stabbing into the turf, left hand snapping over the top, down, set, whistle. Really create that thud with our plastic hitting the turf, down, set, whistle. Right, and we're really generating velocity with that snap, down, set, whistle. So the final drill is called the three whistle drill. This is one of my favorite drills. Um, it's so good for teaching new players the difference between the clamp, the pinch, and the exit. You know, really differentiating those um, sections so that when we combine them all together, it's very fluid motion. Also really good um, for warming up. So each whistle signifies a different portion of the face off. So that first whistle is gonna be the clamp. We snap over the top. Second whistle is the pinch. We secure that ball on the throat of our stick. Third whistle is the exit. So when we exit, we don't wanna just pop the ball straight up in the air in front of our opponent right, because that's gonna get swatted out of our face. We wanna really create separation and we'll do what's called the check mark or the Nike swoosh, where we drag all the way to our left ankle and then pop out to our left to create separation if we're going forward. If you have a um, partner or a coach with you, that'd be awesome for them to do the down set, whistle, whistle, whistle. But if not, you can just play the whistles in your head um, and really focus on um, you know, separating each of those motions. Now, one of the great things about this drill is it's very customizable. So if you wanna focus on a specific e exit, you can change it up on that third whistle to vary your exits. So the first two whistles are the same, down, set, whistle, whistle. But if you wanna work on your back door, third whistle, you go back, right? If you wanna work on your defensive exit, right? You can come out the back on the third whistle, or you can get really fancy with it, do a fake defensive exit into an offensive back door right, making a four whistle drill, down set, whistle, 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 go forward. Um, you can make it a two whistle drill if you wanted to, um, you know, combine the clamp and the pinch into one whistle if you're struggling with throwing that left hand, unnecessary motion. So down set, whistle, whistle, 
see all sorts of things you can do, which is why one of my favorite drills. So thanks so much for uh, watching the video, guys. I super appreciate it. Uh, feel free to give me a like and a subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram, shoot me a DM if you have some film you want me to critique, um, advice or anything of the sort, and I will catch you guys next time.